And right, so let's enter the canyon, continue this mission, enter the canyons, and go after the eagle once and for all, hopefully. It's too late. The battle is lost. You fail like you failed your father. Do you remember how you let him die? I want to shoot in there, real? There we go. I've got a gut feeling it is. Still with us? I'm fine. Somewhat. Or well, more or less, I guess. <laughs> oh, there's no way you're real here. Lord Saka, you return to me. The Eagle. Is she here this time? No, I doubt it. Broken and bleeding while you shook like a new book. I was a child. A samurai. Not a samurai. But when your father was desperate, you hit like a coward. Shin! You alright? Yes, keep fighting! Take care of you. Back up. Keep. Go. Good work. Keep hunting for the eagle. Let's get through this. How are you holding up? I used to only hear her voice. Now I see her, feel her presence. Maybe Not being good. here makes the visions more intense. Unfortunately, I think that might be true. Let me check out the um Oh you bitch! Get out of the way! Really, how about I give, give you, you a... cold steel? Help us together. Remember your terror. Your father's dying screams echoed off the canyon wall. Let me take away ah. your pain. I'll send you to hell. Agreed. Go. I'll handle the shaman. There we go. Bloody move! Go away! Oh, come on! Thank you!
The eagle is uh. waiting east of here, where my father was killed. I'm not betting everything on your gut, samurai. You go east. Tenzo and I cover the other path. No. I'll go with Jin. He needs me. It's time to keep him Good sane. Luck. Good idea. To both of you. Meet me in the heart of your pain. Let me heal you. I'll oh, piss off. Sin, you need to turn back. Too late now. No, nope, we're finishing this. This bitch needs to die. The Sakai can actually feel again. Hello? This is the place where you killed my father. The sacred medicine brought you here. Do you know why? To end your reign of terror. Exactly. No. To be healed. Nope. For years you hid your pain. The sacred medicine allows you to see it. Against my will. Yeah. Your medicine is a weapon. Don't let the darkness take you, Chi. Oh, you're not giving me let darkness. Let spirit soar in the eternal blue sky. I don't soar over my people. I serve them. Even the people who killed your father. Yes, even them. What a waste. Handle the others, Tenzo. I'll deal with the ego. <laughs> okay, bitch, you're gonna die. Now I'm making sure of it. Oh, you're quick. Damn it. You cannot defeat me. Okay. Okay. You will die here like a coward. Okay. Yombo. No, I'm not falling for that one. Ah, bugger. Okay. Okay. Not not falling for that. Face the judgment of your ancestors, Lord Sakai. Oh God. Oh right. Father. Jin, help me. I mean, he was basically half broken by that point, so any dull blade would finish him anyway. Okay. One way to do it. Oh, lay into rest. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Jean. We should have died here together. Like warriors. I don't agree. I'm sorry I failed you, father. Not me. Our clan. No, we failed you, not the clan. The Sakai name is tarnished. As you say it is. The people here accuse us of terrible things. Absolutely. Sometimes, what is necessary is also terrible. That's one way of saying things. Were not easy. No, they weren't. But they needed to be done. That's what you think. 
You did what was needed on the battlefield. Not at home. I needed a father. <laughs> oh, I lost your mother. I was left with a son I didn't know how to help. Did you even try? So... I raised a samurai. Well, that's true. At least that's honorable. It's time, Jim. Do what is necessary. Rid our clan of shame and defeat. And end the eagles. Me. Tyranny. <laughs> Kill him, you coward! Don't! Don't kill him! No, 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 no! Don't! 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 Good. I will never be like you. Well said. The way you lived was not my choice. Exactly. And your death was not my fault. True. Please tell him we've broken the spell. Hello, Jin! Oh, this is not good. Ha ha ha! Take that, bitch! Now it's party time! The sacred medicine no longer affects you. I am not messing around. How is that possible? Enough! Ha ha ha! Oh, I love how that ended. I forgot what the move's called. Heavenly Strike, I think it is? Slicing through! Nicely finished. Ha ha ha! One day, you will face the judgment of your ancestors. We already have. One day. Goodbye, Eagle. May your death benefit all beings. Yep. Very true. Now's your chance. Let's not go there. Are you alright? Mm. I'll live. <laughs> what about you? We've broken the spell. Did hearing her? Nope. Well, not anymore. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, Jim. So am I. Sounds like a celebration. <laughs> Victory, it would seem. I better check on Pune. Tell her the good news. You want me to help you back there? Go on. I'll join you later. Don't wait too long. <laughs> See? But just uh, have your moment of contemplation. Understandable. Very understandable. Oh, haiku! Oh, wow, okay. Reflect on your father's death. Oh, okay. Honey in darkness. Oh, excuse me. Petal soaked with blood. Shared for living. I think hiding in darkness would be appropriate. My father struggled to rise. Father's hand reaching up. Father's breathing subsided. Um. My father's hand reaching up. Let's go with that.
Life, sweet perfume fades. Pray it lasts for life. Soar into the sky. Yeah, because then we can soar on and just we can forgive ourselves and move on. Yeah, let's go with this one. Hiding in darkness. My father's hand reaching up. Soar into the sky. Ah, the shadow has faded. The acceptance. Nice. Mask of the Eagle. Okay. <laughs> Unburdened Heart. Epilogue, okay. Okay. We'll go to the hot spring and then we'll head back there. Because now we can uh, reflect. Uh, we need, we need, uh, I think Jin needs uh, just, just a moment in a hot spring after all that, frankly. <laughs> say Tenzo, I think. Never met someone like Tenzo before. In a different life, we might have become friends. But the best I can do is put the past behind me. Maybe that's enough. Soak in, soak in the night air and just relax. Back for the epilogue. Do that just to make sure we actually get it. Are they in the house or? Nope, celebrating away, fair enough. No games being played, okay, fair enough. Looks like the samurai wants a word with us. Tenzo, you both look well. Feeling better with the eagle gone. Hmm. Nice work, by no the way. No doubt. Thank you. Same to you. The eagle tribe will lose their foothold here if we keep fighting. Hear that, Fune? He said we. <laughs> Find me later, Sakai. I could use the help of a samurai who knows how to keep a secret. Sure. Looks like you're healing up. It only hurts when I laugh, so <laughs> I should be fine around you. <laughs> You only laugh at your own jokes anyway. Uh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> but I'll never swing a blade like I used to. No more robbing innocent merchants on the high seas. <laughs> How will you make yourself useful? He'll train many people. Many people here still suffer from the eagle's poison. There's no cure, but I can ease their pain. Maybe even help some recover. Like you. Good the idea. Eagle's medicine forced me to live my father's death. Gave me another chance to avenge him. What did you do? The cave. I yeah. realized what I feared more than dying. Failing my father. For years I blamed myself for his death. 
and for choosing to live. So I forgave myself. And him. And that cured you? The darkness never leaves completely. But it recedes. Maybe that's how to heal the others. Guide them through the memories. And help them accept. Help them face their fears. Yeah, accept and understand. Right. Years yeah. ago, I could never have imagined saying this, but I'm glad we met, Tenzo. Never thought I'd do this either, but... Thank you, Jin. <laughs> They've reconciled now, eh? Which is really good. I better head out soon. See if I can find more of the Eagle's victims. And get them the help they need. Good idea. Now, Fune, you want to not help? I'll come up there and uh, have a chat with you. Why is it on another raid now? We've barely caught our breath from the last battle. We're at war. If you want to rest, try asking the Eagle tribe for a few days off. Leave us, Hachiro. <laughs> what, do you need, what, do you, what do you need help with? Trouble with your men? Nothing I can't handle. I suppose I should thank you for killing the eagle and for letting Tenzo walk free. The eagle deserved it. As for Tenzo, this island has seen enough bloodshed already. It's Bro. about to see some more. There's a Mongol ship off the coast, loaded with enough supplies to get my men through this war. We're going to take it. And you want help from Iki's most hated samurai? That honor goes to your father. You're willing to hire your former enemy, put your entire crew at risk, over a few supplies? What's really on that ship, Fune? Okay. My daughter. What? So this oh! This is a rescue mission. Oh. Yes. Hidden in a raid. Your crew doesn't know. You haven't told them you're risking their lives to save your daughter. They'll mutiny if they find out. Ah, and if we okay. turn against each other now... The Eagle Tribe will tear you apart. I Fair can't point. abandon my daughter. Join my raid and help me save her. Sure. Quietly. All right. I'm in. Thank you. We leave at sunrise. Until then, you can join the festivities or rest on my ship. Okay. There's law. Enjoy yourself while you can. We sail at first light. Okay. Yes, yes, I will do it. Funi's busy planning. Horse oh, shit. She's never missed a celebration. She did once. The night after. Shh. We've got company. We're drinking ass. Sake? Care for a drink? Sure. That doesn't smell like any sake I've had. <laughs> we don't drink fancy brews on Iki, Lord Sakai. You want fire in your belly? You'll have to settle for my special recipe. Okay. If you try to poison me, you better be strong. <laughs> I've survived the eagle's drink, after all. <laughs> I'll share the bottle to put your mind at ease. <laughs> what are we drinking to? Victory? To Iki Island. That too? Oh! Are we going to be playing or just watching? I'm not really sure. Want to place a bet? Um, sure. A game of Go. I used to play this with my uncle. There's no room for more players, but we're taking bets. Who do you think will win? White or black? I, uh, pfft. Skirt. I'll choose white. I don't Good know. Good luck. Stop by later and see if you won. Never heard of the game, so I'm just... A look. That looks... I don't even understand how that game... Actually, if you know the game of Go, uh, who do you think's gonna win this? Who do you think, uh, which color... Which, uh, color do you think's gonna win? 
in your opinion? Because I've got no idea. I don't even know the game, so. <laughs> I just chose a colour. I'm like, yeah, let's just. No, not in there, you fool. Fune said the Mongol ships loaded with riches. Huh. Fune says a lot of things. You think she's lying? I think she's hiding something from us. Oh, yeah. And the last time she acted this way, I lost two brothers in the deep. Why do I get the feeling Hachiro is not going to be overly um, happy? Ship. Get this done. We might have to face Hachiro, but one issue at a time. Frankly, <laughs> to the base of Vicky Island, we had uh, Ansar Kun Akatun, Master of the Eternal Blue Sky and Ruler of Eagle Tribe, recognizes that Eagle and Ikiant has suffered at the hands of the arrogant samurai. As San Samurai rejects our offer of friendship and forced us to protect ourselves from the cruelty. The great Mongol nation walks all people to the earth as a mother welcomes her children. Do not spill our blood uh, do not spill blood in our homes, we shelter our guests. Uh, Sam and the Eagle try, join our fight and the tyranny of the samurai forever. These are the words of the eagle. <laughs> Good luck with that. I thought it was going to be basically one of those same type of recruitment things where I just well, tried to speed read it. <laughs> I gave you an order. Oh, We're God. Until you tell us everything. What's happening? Something's gone. Oh. Okay, so I'm probably going to need those. This isn't just a supply run, is it? What's so important about this Mongol ship? The enemy is on the move. And you are delaying us. You owe us answers. No, Hachiro. I owe you nothing. Leave him to me, Jin. Who are you loyal to, Hune? Your men or the butcher's son? I have given every piece of myself to you and my men. Prepare the ship. Now. As you command. For now, I men think. men waiting down the beach. This way. Okay. Don't let him distract you. I know. Not when we're so close to Toki. What does your daughter look like? If there are other prisoners, we'll need to find her in the crowd. That's true. She has my chin. And eyes. Okay. And... and... You don't, I don't sound know certain. what she looks like now. Oh. I haven't seen her in years. Growing oh, okay. apart from family can be difficult. Sorry. Do you have children? No. Uh. But my father... I barely knew him. He saved his true self for the battlefield. Maybe I have more in common with the Butcher of Iki than I'd care to admit. I could well, say the same. Mm, true. Let's move. We need to save your daughter, don't we? My scouts, steal your blade. Yes, report. Mongol dogs are loading their ship now. No clue we're coming. If they see us, they'll retreat for open water. Let them try. My archers are in position, ready to torch their sails. A okay. Quiet attack could take them by surprise. Protect any precious cargo from harm. Good thinking, Lord Sakai. Looks like you volunteered to lead the charge. Of course we did. <laughs> take the ship. Leave no Mongol alive. Got it. I have a shipping going this way. Uh, you know what? If we go loud, I don't really care. Just get this done. Ok, 
go. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> Let's do this! On there. The ship is ours. Put out the fires. Take everything you can carry. All right. Where is Funa's daughter? Probably in that cage over there, I would assume. My daughter, Toki. It's me, Oka. Her mind. It's been consumed by Kusuri. A I drug gave I it to ease a broken arm. Oh, painkiller. It's powerful medicine. Jeez. It can be very addicting. I, can I, I, I didn't know she kept using it until she got a group of my men killed on a raid. Wow. By my own law, she should have been executed. But she was your daughter. So I sent her away. Oh. The crew was furious. Some left. Some still hate me. I followed my laws to the letter. Every day since. But it's done no good. She's gone. You were trying to do the right thing. I had a chance, once. I found her in the back of a tea house, lost in a dream. Oh, okay. She'd soiled herself. By the stink, she'd been like that for days. I was so angry, I just... I just left her there. Oh, wow. I should have brought her home. Yeah, now you can. Let's get her off this boat. Yeah. Better late than never. Well, look at this. Ajira, this is not the right time. Her daughter, that bitch who got my brothers killed. Let's she do this. Paid for that mistake, Hachiro. Not Let's enough. throw down. You made sure of that. Come on, asshole. Don't worry. I'll let you say goodbye before I open her pretty little throat. How about cut your throat, throat, asshole? Only a monster would spill her blood now. This isn't your fight, Sakai. Oh, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Those of you still loyal to me, stand back. Leave these rats to us. Damn right. That's it. Them into the sea. Hmm. Serve some bloody rights. Voice, but few allies. <laughs> Your men respect you more than you know. I'll admit, I'm surprised. My daughter got men killed. Fathers, 
brothers, husbands. They've got good leadership. If it were anyone else, I would side with them. You're where you should be, with your daughter. Her mind is gone. You can still look after her. But her body still suffers without Kusuri. I need to help her rest. Thank you. Jin. I hope you find peace, Fune. Hey, Kage. Time of the Raging Bull. <laughs> A friend to all raiders. Plus two silk. Okay, cool. Well, it looks like that's actually the last thing. Okay, well, I mean, there's the odd other, you know, little uh, side thing. But, um, yeah, look, I'm not that fussed. I mean, these shrines, but I'm not fussed about them, to be honest. I, mean, I was more concerned about, you know, the sanctuaries and all that type of thing. So, you know, I've got that done, so I'm happy, you know. I mean, I'm not the completionist. I mean, some stuff that's just side, get the odd outfit... I'd rather focus on the missions, to be honest, than sanctuaries, because, you know, it, it's just an extra outfit, which, true, if you're good at, if you really want to collect everything, but if you're just interested in the story, which I am more interested in the story and other side content, then you focus a bit more on that, someone like me. But, um, look, I actually enjoyed that. That was, um, yeah. It, it was one of those things where you, I, I spoke my... I still had a bit of a, a grief with the combat system. I mean, I, I switched up the tactics a little bit and it did actually help. So I suppose that's on me just needing to improve. But, you know, but the one thing that really pisses me off, I suppose, more than anything, is the frequency of how often Eagle actually talk to Jin. I, it was just like, it was at such un un inopportune times. It was just so annoying. It kept on happening. And I mean, I understand when you go and inspect stuff and, excuse me, there's like a recollection type thing. I, that I get, but some near, like the near constant at times imagery, just like, it, it just unnecessary. I mean, I really think they could have dialed back on them. You know, it's just maybe have it like once per main mission or something like that. You know, in that in, that, in a crucial moment or whatever. Then sure, but with the frequency you got them, it's like I think it was too much. I I really do. But you know, that's just that's just for me. I think a lot of people might probably think that. I don't know, but um, it was quite a hindrance. I felt at times. Eagles are uh, poison visions on us that, that you know because it meant you can't just fluidly do stuff it just broke the fluidity in it yeah it, I mean I get why the 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 hallucination things were there but you don't need to have a lot of them to to point to put to put across your point of what the poison's uh, job is to do because let's say let's say for each main mission right or whatever there's one there might be a vision that lasts i don't know instead of a few seconds have one last 20 seconds have a long one that's actually trying to manipulate Jin and trying to cast doubt that's the only one for the mission i think less of them but maybe a little longer you know sh do longer ones every so often that she put more doubt or you know try to manipulate Jin, but that's just me i mean i'm not as bothered i mean look the archery sites i'm happy i got the stage two i probably have to do a i think it's the tatiori armor build which does for archery and all that concentration stuff but it, i'm not fast getting the seven second because i don't really use the concentration that much anyway so i'm not that fast i mean look it was, I kind of, as soon as we saw the whole, <clears throat> you know, I mean, Jin didn't work out, but it was a play, it's probably pretty simple to figure out if, you, if you're actually paying attention, that you can figure out the eyes in the face of 
that it was Tenzo. It's pretty easy to figure out early on it was Tenzo. I mean, you go through this story because Jin doesn't figure it out immediately, but kind of you can put the pieces together fairly early on, I reckon. But, um, I mean, look, not holding anything against it, you know, I think it was really good to find out about uh, Jin's past, the whole events, the, the history behind that, and the... Um, the invasion, the samurai's invasion, as locals call it, from the uh, Sakai clan. Well, te well, the the invasion of the samurai by uh, by uh, Kuzimasa uh, uh, Sakai. You know, I, I mean, I, I can't really say Sakai clan because there was mult there was a couple of different clans involved. So just samurai that were involved, led by uh, Kuzimasa. So, I mean. Because, you know, because Lord Shimura and his clan and all that, and a couple of others, I think, as well. But, you know, they didn't all belong to clans. Like, they were allies or whatever, or family, friends. I can't remember now. But, yeah, you know my point? It's just, it's good to learn history. We didn't learn a lot in the main game, but we did actually learn stuff in DLC. I mean, we learned the... I think it did well in the sense that the story focused on the connection with Jin, his father, the connections to Fune, Tenzo, though, like, the actual, like, it's, it's not just going too far off the beaten path, it's sticking to the connection between the invasion, flashbacks, Jin's memory, you know, uh, how certain characters were affected, it, it you know, it, and if it did stray, it was by it was dealing with peop, uh, a person's recollection or with the aftermath effects of the invasion or that as well as the Mongols and Jin had to help repair, hopefully not destroy or just try and help people understand. And I think that's um, you know, it was good to see that you know it didn't go just. It could have just gone really far off in different things, but some of more focused on Mongols somewhere at the math of, you know, like I said the uh, the samurai's invasion. Some were both, and it's just learning and trying to heal or understand or help. And you know, it was good to just sort of focus on that one type of narrative and that base thing. So, you know, the cats were uh, really interesting. I did, you know, there was. I I must be I'm really pleased. I I think you could tell that. Jin can either be sort of the forgiving type or really arrogant like his father. He had that choice and I mean, you know, I, I think it makes sense to not be confrontational and argumentative and just sort of try and forgive yourself because otherwise the poison might not have, uh, you might not be able to subside the poison, all this sort of stuff. So it it would might change how things, uh, you know, how the ending, well, this, it might, it maybe not necessarily hit the ending, but just how, like, you know, if you were confrontational, argumentative, you might end up killing uh, Tenzo and Fune and a few others and killing a whole bunch of other people who are natives to Iki Island, and, you know, you you, you further tarnish the Sakai name and all this sort of stuff and, you know, make it irreparably broken and whatever. But if you go to the forgiveness side and helpful then, as I tried to do, and just, you know, you try and help people see that not everyone in Clan Sakai, not all samurai are that brutal and vengeful and aggressive and etc. So, which I think was the entire point of DLC. But I appreciate the fact that let you choose which way to go. And I, you know, it's, I think it'd be interesting to see how many people actually went for the proper vengeful you know, try and take everyone out, and, oh, you did this, let me take you in revenge, and not just go for, let's be P, let's find a resolution, accept, understand, forgive, and, rem and be of remembrance, and all that, so, but, um, yeah, look, this game was absolutely, it looked absolutely gorgeous, it looked, the main game looks gorgeous, it just continued that way, so, I really did like the Animal Sanctuaries, I don't know where, where the difficulty affects it, but I, I'm really still glad that you know, the whole tilting of the controller didn't actually affect as much. You know, it wasn't just like... You, you, I've, I mentioned this earlier in um, in the DLC that you know, you're not just waving the controller around. It's very... It's just very gliding, very, almost like an elegant movement of controller. You're not, you don't have to move it a whole lot 
for that little blip thing to go up and down and around and all that. You didn't have to, because there are other games where I just have to, just basically just waving the damn controller. It's just like, you bastard, stop moving. But it's just, all, it's just waving all over the place. It's very controlled and carefully guided, which I do like. I really, it's, you don't have to, it's just nice, just gentle and very careful, you know, movement of it, you know, um, kept guiding movement, not just waving around, which is, I do appreciate that, you know, got to see some monkeys, deer, and, uh, some cats, didn't really know cats were, no cat sanctuaries, but, hey, that's, hey, that's pretty cool in itself, so, <laughs> but yeah, look, there was other interesting. Uh, it was nice to go through and just come back. I actually hadn't played this game since I, I finished it and everything. So I'm glad I played on the PS5 version. Got to just see the enhancements. It looks, you know, just see how truly beautiful the game can be and everything. I think just in terms of the environment and how it looks, this should be the base. I mean, provided the developers, you know, can put like. I mean, I understand people might put, like, a quality mode or whatever might be to enhance it, but, you know, this is on performance mode, and it looks amazing. And if that's, like, the standard that goes for AAA games going on, that should be, you know, that folk that have as, put just as much work into the stories they do in the environments to make it look as beautiful as they do, I mean, Sucker Punch did such an amazing job making the world look as, as beautiful as it did. They outdid themselves. They've got a good reputation for it. I really wish other companies... I mean, I'm not saying other companies don't make really good-looking games. But I'm saying more for, like, the open-world style and all this sort of stuff. You know, the action-adventure style. They could take they could take a few, uh, a, you know, a few notes from... Where Sucker Punch do things. Shooter games are a whole different class. Just in the sense that. You know I've played enough shooter games to know. I mean when they focus on the visuals. They don't need to put the most beautiful landscape in. It's just about the textures and all that. Which I understand. But for open world where. If you sit there and actually have to be. In, to feel engrossed and feel. You know. Just let the environment just. Get very engrossed in the environment. And really let yourself settle into the game the more beautiful it looks and the more lifelike almost it really does help that ambience and all that sort of thing which i think this game really does do a really good job of so so yeah uh and here thank you all for watching hope you've enjoyed as much as i had there are a couple of little moments i'm like but overall i really did enjoy it um yeah it's certainly been quite an interesting journey glad to learn about uh Jen and all these other people that were involved and good to meet uh, good to meet them help them out and i wouldn't say be forgiven be accepted maybe a little bit forgiven but yeah it's good to go through that journey yeah, anyway thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time next video take care everyone